Welcome to part 24 of Oblivion, an Aspie Let's Play on the Xbox 360. In the last part, we left the Shivering Isles behind, and I assassinated Rufio to gain access to the Dark Brotherhood, sanctioning one of the many factions you can find in Oblivion. So now I'm just trying to find my way out of here. Huh? So I can begin my first assassination contract, a watery grave. I must go to the waterfront district in the Imperial City and gain access to the pirate ship Marie Elena so I can kill Captain Gaston Toussaint. I may be able to smuggle myself on board with the cargo in one of the packing crates. My objective is the waterfront in the Imperial City district. So I think I have to take the... actually wait. Oh, they do let me take the... they do let me take this way out. Cool. Oh. <laughs> okay, thanks for thanks for pointing me uh that way out game. Yeah, cuz I couldn't go that way. I I forgot. That must be a game glitch. Or maybe I actually I can't remember if Oblivion is smart enough to tell you if you can actually go go someplace. But it looks like the quest arrow redirected itself, so it's a bit more uh, feasible. Something that it's a it's a path I can actually take. So, again, kudos to the game for redirecting my compass, so I wouldn't have problems like that. Gotta like games that that care about you and your your progress. Now then. From Shaden Hall, go to the Imperial City waterfront. I think I fast travel in front of the lighthouse. There is a lighthouse here. This is the first time we're seeing the Imperial City waterfront. A lot of quests are involved in this particular area of the game, in fact. Here you can join the Thieves Guild. Well, here is the center of the Thieves' Guild and the secret headquarters of the Gray Fox, but we'll get into that when I get into the, uh, well, actually, a wanted poster. Very ghastly looking man with a gray cowl on his face. The Gray Fox. Wanted for theft, embezzlement, forgery, pickpocketing, counterfeiting, burglary, conspiracy to commit theft, grand larceny, Tax evasion, slander, fraud, perfidy, and impertinence. Description. Wears a gray cloak that conceals his appearance. Presumed male and colovian. Height between 5 and 6 feet. Normal weight, hair, and high color unknown. Any citizen with, in with information should contact the Imperial Watch. Watch Captain Hieronymus Lex. Well, there's really no point in taking that with me. It's not worth anything. The Gray Fox is a very interesting character in this game. Probably, uh, I won't be getting, I won't need to get into him uh, until I actually do the Thieves Guild questline, but believe me, he is coming. Just checking. What is in these containers? What? Sound like somebody was just barking at me or something. Oh, here we go. You believe you could effectively hide in this crate and then be transported to the pirate ship Maria Elena. Do you wish to hide in the crate or try to find your own way on board the ship? I'm gonna hide in the crate. Just as just as expected, the crate I hid in has been transported to the ship's hold. I must now find and kill Captain Gaston Toussaud. He's probably in his cabin at the rear of the ship on a higher deck. Lag's acting up a little bit. Oh, torch. <laughs> Actually, the weird thing about this quest is that I think you can use this way on board more than once and the ship ship never leaves the dock it's very strange 
What else is in? Wait, what am I looking for? I'm rich, damn it! I don't need. I'll, I'll look in here because there are ingredients. See how these bags, since you can see, sort of see what's inside. They these usually have ingredients in them, so be sure to pick up open sacks of grain. They usually have wheat grain or rice. And as re and since they're ingredients with restore fatigue properties, they will help you increase your alchemy skill. And I have a feeling I'm going to be killing a lot of people in this quest because my sneak skill is not very good and I can't detect life through the walls. <laughs> yeah, detect life spell would be really useful at this part. In fact, I'm just going to see. Uh, nope. I have nothing. Though I do still have my greater powers at my disposal. I could use them as a distraction in case I do get caught. One second. So I have no detect life spells, which means I could get attacked at any moment because I don't know where anybody is. I'm telling you, lad, it's bad luck. Woman on board a pirate vessel. Back in my. Oh shit! All right, bring it on. I will summon a flesh atronach to defeat you too. Holy shit, this guy's tall. What? They killed my flesh atronach, bastards! I'll kill you. All right, uh, sword fighting with multiple people can be a real pain in the ass because either of them can block, and it will make it. It will make you recoil. And I'm about to trap myself. I know how to get rid of you asses. Well, first of all, summon him. Attack him from both sides. There we go. I'm gonna try to get as much mileage out of actually these oh these swords suck. I'm gonna try to get as much mileage out of that dark seducer as I can. I have to get on I have to get to the upper decks and kill the people upstairs. Wait, I'm at the captain's cabin already? Ah, that was easy. I'll sh kill you all. Prepare to die! Gaston Toussaud is dead. I must now return to the sanctuary and speak with Vicente Valtieri to receive my reward. Successfully harvest Nernroot. This brings up the new quest, Seeking Your Roots. I've discovered a sprig of Nernroot, a plant ingredient this unusual must have value. Perhaps I should bring it to an alchemist and find out a little more about it. An alchemist can be found in almost every city in Cyrodiil. In. No, don't, don't come in. I'm not. <laughs> the captain is not well at the moment. Oh shit, they're inside. And my Dark Seducer is about to disappear. Shit. Golden Seed! Yeah. We make a pretty darn good team if I do say so myself. I have to get out the way of the captain's quarters right here. That door up ahead. Yeah, you're dead. You won't be needing this crap anymore. Actually, a booty chest. Nice. Free gold. A note. Okay. Remove the top first. Reach inside and take out all the parts, being careful to note their order. Put the carving into the rod. Reinsert the rod into the cavity. Replace the parts in the order you remove them. Seal the top with pine tar. I have no idea what I just read, but I'm going to take this note anyway. Some kind of instructions on how to how to build something. I'm not sure what. 
Oh yeah, that guy doesn't have a shirt on. Thought uh, maybe I got blood on his... No, I don't think you can get blood on the characters in this game. And the pirates outside are probably going to attack me because I am trespassing on their ship. Or not. I'd say assassination completely success... Oh, shit. Oh, they don't... Oh, sure. Sure. If I if I walk on... I'm going to kill these guys. See, if I walk on board the ship, yeah, they get pissed off. But if she walks on board the ship, no, it's okay because she's, she's an NPC. Basically a creature. Wait, is this murder? No. This better not be considered murder, because I'll be pretty... I'll, I'll be really upset if this is considered murder. I have stolen pro I have stolen alchemy equipment on me. Better not be considered murder. Oh, if I fast travel, my health gets recovered anyway. We're going back to Shaden Hall so we can turn in the quest for killing Captain Captain Gaston Tussaud. Two shacks. Good movie, Dancing with Dances with Wolves. Very long though. And if you didn't, <laughs> if you watched the whole movie and you didn't feel sad when Two Socks died, I don't know. You're gonna have to like grow a new heart or something. <laughs> It was a pretty sad scene. <laughs> you can't see me. You can't see me. Neither can he. No one can see me. Yes. Do I have any damaged attributes? I have no damaged attributes. Most excellent. I should probably, I, I should probably check to see if I have a bounty on my head just so I don't get surprised later on. State your business. Shut up. Forget state my business. Stick it up your ass. And before, until I get that key to, where is it? Until I get to the key to this well, I have to go through the same entrance I went through when I first entered the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. It, it, it gets kind of annoying. They really should give me the key as a reward, like, right after I do this quest, you know? Like, what's the big deal? I already, I already performed up to their expectations. I performed an assassination contract. <laughs> That should be proof of my loyalty to the Dark Brotherhood. Also, I've noticed that they play the dungeon theme when you're in this place. It doesn't exactly feel like a friendly atmosphere. kind of makes you feel like you're constantly in danger. Hello, Vicente. So, the pirate has been eliminated. Excellent. No one will mourn his passing, and Sithis has been appeased. Please accept this black band as your reward. It is a ring whose powers are quite useful to those who value discretion. Alright, sure. And I think I just got a new quest. Blood of the Dam. Oh yeah, these, 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 are, these are mini quests. Um... Once I receive my next contract, I'll complete the Blood of the Damn quest, and I'll move on to the next quest. What does the Black Band do? Ooh, resist magic! Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Do I even ha I don't have any rings on right now. I have... I have one ring. Shrouded armor. Eleven... Oh, shit, I gotta repair my stuff. I'm going to equip the black band and I can still have the ring of lordship on which means I still have fortify endurance and 25 resistance to poison and that stupid chameleon spell 
Now I have a very high resistance to magic, actually. Since I started out with 50% resistance to magic, any... Well, I have 50%, I have natural, naturally 50% resistance to magic and whenever I have an additional resistance to magic the effect is essentially doubled so I got 5% from the diadem it's like 10% because 10% 10% of 50 is 5 and the black band gives me 8% magic resistance that's like 16% so I, I have really high magic resistance right now this is getting good now for Chenzo yeah I'm glad you've returned the contract is waiting if you're ready. Tell me about the contract. We need you to stage an accident. Kill the target in the manner specified, and you'll receive a considerable bonus. Do you accept this contract? I wonder why they put no as the default one. Don't 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 say no. There's no penalty to accepting quests in games like these. Yes, I accept the contract. As I expected. Good. The target is a wood elf named Bainlin. You will find him at his home in Bruma. Enter secretly and avoid his manservant, Grom. On the second floor is a secret door leading to a crawl space. Inside are the fastenings of a mounted head that hangs over Bainlin's favorite chair. Loosen those fastenings any night between 8 p.m. and 11 p.m. and the head will surely fall on Bainlin as he relaxes in his chair, as is his custom. If Bainlin is eliminated in any other manner, or if the manservant Grom is killed, you will forfeit the bonus. Now go, and may Sithis be with you. Quest completed. Blood of the Damned. Quest added. Accidents happen. <laughs> it's just... Oh, uh, it, it is refreshing when they use, like, uh commonly heard phrases as, as like quest titles they do that in fallout they, they do that in fallout a lot too well, I'm pretty sure they do that in any RPG game where you have to complete quests like this it's nice it's also it's, kind of, it's also sort of dark, like a dark, dark comedic way, because, I mean, I found it funny. Like, I'm about to kill somebody by staging an accident. It's like, well, accidents happen. It's like, no, I killed somebody, damn it! The head will not fall on his... The, the mounted head will not fall unless I remove the fastenings. Therefore, it is murder. I have to make it look like an accident, though, with my my fancy crown. We're going to Bruma, the northernmost province in Cyrodiil. Uh, is it a province or a... Yeah, it's a province. No, it's not a province. It's a county. Northernmost county in Cyrodiil, Bruma. It's near the mountains and is mostly populated by Nords who favor cold weather and climate because they hail from Skyrim, which is where the next Elder Scrolls game is going to take place. And my god, I am looking forward to that. Hello. So I, it's not trespass, and it's not trespassing. So I can actually hold on a sec. And we're back. Oh, I could have clicked it then. Nope. Nope. the The trick is to not get impatient with the tumblers. Eventually, they will go up the way you want them to. The Okay, when it does like the single ding, that's that's a no. When it goes like ding, that's when you should press A. You will most likely get it at that point. And my security skill went up. Isn't that excellent? I have entered Bainland's house. If I can access the second floor crawl space and loosen the fastenings on the mounted head between 8 o'clock p.m. and 11 o'clock p.m., it will fall on Bainlin as he rests in his chair. If Bainlin dies any other way, or if Grom is killed, I will lose my bonus. 
Notice that, that you cannot fail quests in this game, but this is this is one of the few quest lines. I think it's like the only quest line where you can get. No, there are a lot of quest lines where you can get additional bonuses if certain parameters are met. Um, I there's no way I can fail the quest, but I can make it less good if I fuck if I fuck up this particular parameter that I have to meet. So it is... I'm gonna wait three hours, that should give our buddy Banelin enough time to go into the chair. And I think, yep, I think this is it. Activate mounted head fastenings. These appear to be the fastenings of the mounted minotaur head. As expected, they have been loosened over time. You could easily remove the fastenings, causing the mounted head to crash to the floor below. Do you wish to remove the fastenings? Yes, remove the fastenings. Oh. oh dear! The mounted head has fallen on Banelin, killing him as expected. I must return to the sanctuary and speak with Vicente Valtieri to receive my reward. I'm sneaking from Grom right now, who's... Probably feeling pretty bad right now because he's oh Sir Devlin Brandy cool. His boss, his charge, is dead. He's dead and he's not coming back, and it's probably his fault. I have slight chameleon active, so I should be able to sneak past him. Yeah, see that's that's him over there with his with his hammer raised. So, he's like, what the fuck happened? And me, I'm just moseying, moseying, almost made it. And I made it. Fuck. Uh, I can... Yeah, I don't need to sneak anymore. There's nobody down here. I probably shouldn't dally, however. As your security skill goes up, the little dingy, the double, the double sounding ones, those occur more often. And usually for longer, and you usually have a greater window of time to respond. Shaden Hall is over here on the in the far east, the northeast. So we're going to That's the east gate I was supposed to be fast traveling to. That's how you get to the okay, so I don't have to cut through town anymore. Some say certain members of the Thieves Guild will buy stolen goods, but many officials hold that the Thieves Guild does not exist. Or something like that. What a beautiful night. Slightly cloudy. You can see the stars. Oh god. And look, I don't know if that's a moon or a planet, but <laughs> that's usually in the sky at night. On a clear night. It's just beautiful. That's a troll. I haven't seen I haven't encountered a troll yet, but those those bastards are they suck. They suck if you can't take uh, take out their health faster than they regenerate it. Yes, trolls and dread zombies, those are the two those are like like some of the only two enemies besides the gatekeeper who actually regenerate health over time. Oh, Vicente, right here. Yay. The accident has been staged and Banelin lies dead. Well done. You have more than earned your reward and bonus. I present to you this dagger. It's an enchanted blade known as Sufferthorn. Its prick is deadly, I assure you. Yes, you are quite an asset to this sanctuary. In fact, I believe you are ready for advancement. I hereby appoint you Slayer. Well done. 
Now go, child of Sithis. Go and rest. You'll need it. Go and rest? I don't need to rest. No, wait. No, come, get back, back here. For more? It just so happens I have another contract available. One that requires an expert in infiltration. Of course, I will gladly accept. As always, you fail to disappoint me. Your target is a dark elf named Valen Dreth. He thinks he's safe in prison. He is tragically mistaken. A prisoner recently escaped from the prison using a set of secret tunnels connected to the Imperial City's sewer system. It's a perfect way inside. Just outside the Imperial prison is a grating that leads to the sewers. It has recently been tightly locked, but I will provide a key. It should be easy enough to locate Dreth in his small cell. Besides, I think you know the way, hmm? <laughs> oh, Dreth you know something he's not telling! <laughs> his tongue is sharp, but his body is limp and frail. He will prove an easy, pleasurable kill. You will receive a bonus if you fulfill the contract without killing any of the prison guards. Now go. And may the Night Mother go with you. Okay, notice how he said kill the guards. Doesn't mean you for it means that I will not forfeit the bonus if they catch me. But if I kill any of them, then the bonus is forfeit. So I mean no, I, I, I can't I, I'm not good at sneaking. I don't have I don't have a high enough s I haven't gotten the perks from having a high sneak skill, so I won't be able to do this the way they want me to. This is my second video in my college dorm, and I actually finally figured out a way to upload videos to YouTube. I just have to save them to my external hard drive and upload them from uh, from the library. That's what I'm going to be doing later on this evening, once I make the video file, of course. In other news, I'm learning how to play Dungeons & Dragons. It is the most complicated effing game I've ever seen. It took me three hours just to get through the character sheet, and I'm not even done with the fucking character yet. It's going to take a lot of work. So, from here, I bid you adieu until the next part where we will be completing the Scheduled for Execution quest, killing Vale and Dreth, and probably getting a lot of friggin' guards chasing after me. With my high speed, they will be easy to get away from. And this will be my third assassination with the Dark Brotherhood and the Dark Brotherhood questline. One of my favorite questlines in the game. I'll see you guys next time.